But two candidates uh, for one of Oregon's top offices, is uh, they're back in the headlines, and for very different reasons. And that would be Oregon Secretary of State-elect Shamia Fagan, a Democrat, and the woman who she defeated, Republican State Senator Kim Thatcher. Uh, hopefully you became familiar with both of them because we talked to them both during the campaign when they ran for Secretary of State. And in the end, Fagan pulled out the win, so she's going to be sworn in next year. So why are we talking about it? Why are they back in the headlines? Well, let's start with Shamia Fagan. She's under fire right now after a right-wing media site published photos of her and her partner hosting a birthday party during the governor's most recent COVID-19 freeze. There are two photos in the piece, one showing a group standing outside under a pop-up tent. There are about eight people visible from our count in this picture here. From the faces we can see, they're all wearing masks. In a second photo, uh, Secretary-elect Fagan is standing outside without a mask with her partner and two others. So we know that that second unmasked photo was apparently taken during the setup for that party. And despite accusations in the car article, we're being told that nobody from outside Fagan's household actually went inside. But still, I mean, the governor's freeze banned hosting more than six people from more than two households. I, I, I think I said that until I was blue in the face on this show. And I know it made a lot of people upset. A lot of people didn't like it, but that's those were the rules. And there are definitely more than six people in that first photo. So we asked Secretary-elect Fagan about it, and she admitted she had a party last Sunday for her preschooler, she says, to seek a sense of normalcy. She insisted the gathering was small. It was outdoor. It was during, uh, a, uh, during the party. Uh, everybody was entirely masked. But her statement does continue. It says, quote, yet as an Oregon leader, when I fall short, I will own up to it. I assume by having only my family and two other children with a parent present in my driveway, socially distant with everyone wearing masks and no one allowed in the house, meant I was, compli I was in compliance with the executive orders. I was wrong. I am sorry. Now, whether you accept her apology or not, that is entirely up to you. Now, as for Fagan's former opponent, Senator Kim Thatcher. Her controversy is an entire no different matter. See, during President Trump's unsuccessful attempt to overturn election results, Texas's attorney general sued several key states to try and do that. And a few other states' attorneys general jumped on board, but not Oregon AG Ellen Rosenblum. But Senator Thatcher signed onto a letter last week trying to convince her to change her mind. Now, keep in mind, we just experienced a fair election without any proof to say otherwise. The letter said, quote, we believe that fair elections are vital to our democratic republic and that the submission of electors by these four states should be at least postponed. Of course, it wasn't postponed and the Electoral College voted on Monday and now Joe Biden is president elect. But the reason that we think this is important is because Senator Thatcher was very close to being Oregon's secretary of state, the person in charge of our elections. And by signing this letter, it seems to indicate that she thinks that this presidential election wasn't fair. Based on what? I don't know, but I don't want to put words in her mouth. The problem is uh, we asked Senator Thatcher for a comment yesterday. We have not heard anything back yet, but when we do, we'll be sure to pass it along.